want to answer a DM that came in on Instagram. The question is, what do I do when my 11 year old is dysregulated? Um, but I, when I try to connect with him and I try to co-regulate with him and I try to, you know, soften his little nervous system reactivity, he pushes me away and seems to get more upset when I try to connect with him. Here's the thing. When we pursue them to give them empathy and connection and they don't want that, it can actually make them more aggravated and more annoyed. Please do not force empathy and connection and co-regulation on your child. The point is the availability of your presence if they do not actually want your presence there. So what I would say, let's say um, your 11 year old's yelling, they're really upset about something. Maybe they're aggressive, even um, not just verbally, but maybe even physically, they, you know, have thrown something or they're really upset, really dysregulated, falling apart. The first thing we want to do is connect and provide co-regulation, letting them borrow our calm and our prefrontal cortex to downregulate their reactivity, to move them into a whole brain integrated state where they're again regulated and all of those things. So we simply start with, oh, you seem so upset. Um, how can I help? Or what do you need? Or, oh my goodness, I will listen. Um, something like that. Something to just offer the availability of your presence. Now, let's say they are like, leave me alone, um, go away. Or they even say something worse. Um, it's perfectly fine if it's their desire to be by themselves or to say, leave me alone, to respect that as long as they're safe and that you offer the availability of your presence. So what I would typically do in that moment, and this would be for a young kid as well, or a much older kid, um, is to say, I totally get it. Um, take your time. I'll be back to check on you in a few minutes and let me know if you need me. I'm going to be in the kitchen. So you're basically allowing them to know you're close by. And then within a few minutes, you might go back and just very gently, very quietly, very softly. Hey, I'm just checking on you. Is there anything you need? How can I help? And if they, again, say, leave me alone, you say, okay, I'll be in the kitchen. Um, I'll keep coming back to check on you, but you know where to find me. I, I'm, I'm here to listen, or I'm here to help. So you really just offer the availability of your presence. All of us have unique sensory differences. We all have unique differences in terms of how our nervous systems calm down, how much time we need, what it takes. And for some people really having some space where they're not having someone talking to them, where they're not having visual input of having you nearby and really having some space and some quiet to themselves. We want to honor that as long as they know we're here. And as long as we know that they're safe. So please don't force connection to happen on your timeline because it makes you feel better to regulate and to validate and to connect before you redirect. Um, really, we want to be attuned to what their need might be, honoring their individual differences and making our calm co-regulation and presence available the way they want it to be. So hopefully that's helpful.